Hi, this is John from Final Cut Pro Classes, and today's tutorial is about how to use the motion tracking in Final Cut Pro, a way to track faces when you want to blur them, or put titles to objects, or put effects just on certain parts of the picture. It's super easy, super cool. Let's get into it. So here, as usual, I have a random timeline, and let's say that I want to blur this guy's face here. So if I go to the clip and I click it, and I go to my effects palette here, and the way we used to do it was we used to just drop in the effect into the clip. That's not going to work with the tracking, so you blur the whole clip. So let me undo that. And instead of doing that, grab the effect and drag it to the canvas. And you can see that it's looking for things that it can track. So if I put it right on this guy's face, it notices that it's a face. And I let it go. And now my blur is on this guy's face. Now I can track it either forward or backwards. Or when I say analyze, it's going to track the whole shot forward and backwards, no matter where my playhead is. So I hit analyze and it's analyzing the clip. You can see the tracking motion is right on the face. And now all I've got to do is play it back and his face is blurred. It's just that easy. And you can put more than one tracker on a clip. So if I want to put a blur on this guy's face too, it's just as easy. I just grab the blur. I put it on his face. It, it, no, it doesn't see his face, but it sees his head as an object, which is good enough for me. I let it go, and I say Analyze. And you can see it's tracking his face exactly. And now when I play it back, it's already done. So both these people's faces are blurred just like that. So you can use the tracking to blur faces, license plates, logos on people's shirts that you don't want to see such as this guy here. He's got something on his shirt. And let's say I don't want to see that. I can grab the blur and drag it right to the canvas and the tracker opens up. Now, if I don't get what I want, now, if I want a shirt and it's just grabbing her, I can just let it go. And the tracker is square now, okay? But I can just readjust it myself so I can move the tracker here to where he is. I can change the shape of it. I can also, if I grab this little white dot on the corner, I can make it round or rounder. So it depends on what you're trying to track. So here I'm going to go a little closer, and I think I've got his shirt mostly. There we go. And again, all i got to do is hit Analyze. It's going to track the shot back and forth. I can go forward or backwards, but I want to track the whole shot. So I say Analyze. You can see that the mat stays right on his shirt. And now when I play it back, so there, that was so easy. But there's much more than you can do with the tracker than just blurring. Okay, now say for instance, I have these two guys here and I want to do something funny with them. So I'm going to go ahead to the effects palette and I'm going to grab uh, comic looks. Okay, so if I, I skim over these, I can see some comic looks. So I think, okay, I'm going to take this one here. So I'm going to grab this effect, I'm going to drag it into the canvas, and already it, it sees the guy as an object, but I want to adjust that a little bit. So I'm going to move it over a little bit. I'm going to make it a little skinnier so that the feather doesn't overlap too much. So here I make it a little smaller, and there I think there's about good. So now all I have to do is analyze. It's analyzing the shot forward and backward. So now when I play it, I see that the guy's like a, a comic. So you can see that if I play from the beginning. He's like a comic book character walking in the street. Okay, that's another way to use the, uh, the tracker. Now you can do almost all effects with the tracker. So just to show you an example, if I want this guy's here shirt to be a little more blue, okay, I'm going to go to the color effects and I'm going to go to the color board and I'm going to hold down and drag to the canvas and I see that it chose that object but I want to adjust it a little more so it doesn't grab everything so I'm going to adjust it just to his blue shirt I can make it a little rounder if I want like that and go a little smaller okay then I'm going to go to the inspector. Okay, so I'm going to open up my inspector and I'm going to adjust that color. 
So I want to saturate that blue a little more. So I'll go to saturation and I'll saturate that blue, make it really blue. Okay. And again, I just have to analyze it and I hit analyze. It tracks that guy. It looks like the mat is staying right on him and that's it. It is so easy. So I hit play and there the guy's shirt is really blue now and really sticks out. So that is so cool. Okay. So, so here I want to track this picture. So to make my first track, I'm going to go to the title tool and I'm going to get a basic title. I'm going to drag it on and there it sees the building. I'm going to adjust that right there. And I'm going to move my title to where I want it. Oops, grab the wrong part. I'm going to move it there and straighten it out a little bit. And maybe I'll make it a little bigger so we can see it better there. So there's my title. And I want to track it throughout the whole shot. So now I'm going to hit the title. I'm going to hit analyze. So it's going to analyze that shot. That's a really easy shot to analyze because it's just the building. It analyzes it all the way back and forth. And that's it. If I roll this back and I play it, that title stays with that building. Super cool. So now I want to add another title to that. And I, I can just grab a title now and put it on top. Okay, I don't need to get another tracker because I have one there already. And since everything moves together, I can just say, use the other tracker. So I'm going to move this title, let's say to this building right here, or maybe actually to this one right here. I'm going to make it bigger. And this time I'm going to drop down the tracker menu here. And it says, which tracker do I want to use? I want to use the one I, I used before, the object tracker. So I drop it down and that's it. It already took that track and everything moves the same. You just can't do titles, but you can also do pictures and video. So let's say that I go to my footage here and I get a picture and I drop it onto the track like that. I want a whole track. And I want to make this a little bit smaller. I'm going to click it on and just hit the scale a little bit. Bring it down like to that. And again, I want this to follow this building right here or between these two buildings here. So because everything moves at the same rate, I don't need to make a new tracker. I just need to attach this to the other track that I did. So if I drop this menu down again, it asks what tracker I want. I'll say, the object track that I made the first time. And that's it. That's going to track with that tracker. So let me show you one more thing here. So here I'm going to just throw another shot in. Get this shot here. I'm going to just throw it right here. And let's say that I want to track this lady's face with a title. So I go to my title tool. I see my basic title. I drag it to her face and I drop the title in. I make the title a little bigger. You can see the title is slightly tilted because her face is slightly tilted. So I'm going to make the title a, bit, a little bit bigger. You can see it better. So you can see it's slightly twisted because it's following the tracking on the face. But I don't want the title to rotate with her face as she's turning her face this way and that way. So I'm going to go to the tracker before I start tracking. First, let me move this over to the whole clip. So I'm going to snap it there, snap it there. Okay. So before I start tracking, I'm going to click the title. I'm going to drop down the tracker menu and I'm going to take off the rotation on the tracker. So it's not going to rotate the title when her face rotates. So I take that off and I say analyze and it tracks her face back and forth. But now you can see the title stays straight the whole time. It doesn't rotate at all when her face is rotating. So that's one way you can stop an unwanted movement with the tracker is by dropping this menu down and you can either take off rotation or scale. If you have that on, basically the title is going to scale up as the object gets closer or the subject gets closer, but I don't want that. I want the title to stay the same size as the subject moves. So I keep the scale off. So basically that is the basics of the tracker. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and subscribe or like if you want and see you next time. Thank you.